what we like. What we like best about the MX-5 Miata is the MX-5 Miata. Oh, there have been quibbles. We are, after all, professional quibblers. But the Miata embodies such clarity of purpose, and so compellingly delivers on its promise of being simply a fun car to drive, that our logbook notes have fallen into a predictable template. The Miata, some trivial concern, but the car is so satisfying, I just don't care. The light clutch pedal, short shift throughouts, and perfectly modulated braking response turned this car into the equivalent of a trainer jet for advanced driver training. There are many faster sports cars and many cars with more power most of them, in fact but there aren't many things as well realized as a Miata. What we don't like, we do not like that our Miata is now back on a set of Bridgestone Blizzaks in preparation for the trials of another upper Midwest winter. Nothing wrong with the Blizzaks, mind you. It has just that sometimes, when we look out our office window and see crisp blue sky, we can fool ourselves into imagining there is time left in the season for one more top-down romp with our old friend. Spying the aggressive siping on the winter tire stops cold that particular idle. Other minor, but oft noted, objectionable traits include excessive road noise on the expressway, cramped interior quarters for our larger staffers or for long-legged passengers, and the lack of a telescoping steering wheel. As noted above, though, all of these complaints are quickly followed by acknowledgement that to remedy these concerns, which would be considered failings in the regular car realm, would require adding unnecessary weight and would detract from what is actually an almost perfect thing. What went wrong? Once safely away from touch parking and Jelenos, not much of anything has gone wrong with our Miata. A check engine warning light was traced to a bum mass airflow sensor, which was replaced under warranty at our 20,000 mile service. We paid $94.99 for that visit, which included an oil change, inspections, and a tire rotation. The car's computer requested the 30,000-mile service a bit early. We paid $74.02 for the oil and filter change and inspection at 28,810 miles. Where we went, our little bisque-colored Miata has stayed close to home since returning from California. We drove to Holland once recently. But as it turns out, Holland is in Michigan. We've also discovered that more than one staffer has been visiting Indiana, for reasons that are not entirely clear. Otherwise, the Miata has served admirably and efficiently as a commuter and short squirt joy rider. Months in fleet, 14 months current mileage, 28,928 miles. Average fuel economy. 32 miles per gallon fuel range, 380 miles. Service, $376 normal wear, $0 repair, $0. Damage and destruction, $2,622. What we like, the new Mazda Miata is all ate up with charisma, such that only the most dedicated cynic would be immune to its charms. We don't drive this little car so much as slip into it like silk pajamas. It's small in the way 1960s roadsters were small, seemingly all four corners reachable by extended arms from the well-appointed cockpit. Thus, the human-machine bond is strong when we hit the road, the car slaloming from corner to apex as if an extension of the limbs, the steering and gearbox sublime in their organically direct operation. And the speed feels real even when it has not. More than one driver noted that this car makes legal limits fun, no small feat these days. The soft top is so easy to drop from behind the wheel that ULL do it on a whim even for a 5 minute drive, and we re currently averaging a very thrifty 32 miles per gallon. It's a car for youth, meaning both the young and those who want to be young again.